Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another banging episode of Connect HR Hangouts. It's your favorite host, Babi Mawela. Today we are at Zwino Tech and Procure Active and we are going to give you real client feedback. Come with us as we take you through what they do. My name is Cyril Bombwe and I'm the owner of Zwino Tech a development company that has built multiple software and system across South Africa. One of our cutting edge systems that we've built is Connect HR, a seamless HR system that brings solutions to your table. We've also built other systems such as Procure Active. Hello everybody, welcome back to Connect HR Hangouts. It's your sizzling host, Babi Mawela. We are back with yet another banging episode. If you are new here, we are the podcast that brings back the human in human resources. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your patience. And thank you so much for the comments. Please, some few house rules. Click on the notification button to receive notifications every time we upload an episode. Comment, like, and share. In studio today, we have one of our favorite, favorite VIP guests. <laughs> he goes by the name Sidwell Bombe. How are you? Hi, Bobby. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Um, happy to be here. Finally. Happy to see you. Finally. Yeah. Finally. So that's a pleasure. Sid, please give our viewers um, a nice introduction about yourself, who you are, where you're from, what are you doing, and how are we connected with you? Okay, so hi everybody, my name is Sidwell Bombwe, and uh, yeah, I don't know where to start. I'm the founder of Zwinotech and Procure Active. Yeah, my, my journey is quite an interesting one. Uh, I started out in the engineering space, okay. so I've always wanted to be you know, fixing TVs and all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I sort of took that route from a career's point of view. Mm -hmm. But as you know, um, you know, it, it doesn't always turn out at how we planned it. Mm -hmm. I eventually found myself in the tech space. Yeah. It was quite interesting. I um, started out at a small rating agency. Um, they needed someone that was quite technical that would help around with spreadsheets and so forth. And yeah, they threw me at the deep end. Yeah. I, I started finding that with tech comes solution, mm. comes innovation. So with all of that, you know, it started inspiring me, mm. you know, um, through my journey of trying to come up with solutions for the company, mm. Mm. that's when I started diving deeper into now the development part of it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's, yeah, it was quite a journey. It's quite a journey. And we have you here in studio for a reason today, yeah. because you are part of the birth of Connect HR, yes. and that's why we have the podcast to market our business, Connect HR, okay. which is a software that is developed by Zenotech, and Zenotech is actually our very happy client. <laughs> so um, please give us a little bit of a background about Connect HR, how it started and your involvement in the journey. Okay, so how it started out, it's quite an interesting story. So we were doing, um, you know, your leave reports through an Excel spreadsheet and one would sort of have to remember certain things mm. at certain dates. So it was quite tedious. And uh, as a business owner myself, mm you know, we, we always out there trying to get more business. Yeah. So there isn't really time to f sit down and then do the admin work, mm. you know, and as small as we are, you know, we want a tight budget for resources. Mm. So through that journey with um, the owner of Connect HR, we sort of sat down and we're like, how can we solve this? How well, can we make things easier? Yeah, how can we make things yeah. easier? Because we were just looking at our own case study mm. and we were also looking at other companies out there that are in a similar situation as us. Mm. And I think that was how the concept to build uh, Connect HR came up, mm. where we said we need something that 
is a is a, a solutions driven mm. it bridges the gap mm. from a payroll from a leave management mm. uh, you know you it's all in a pocket it's all in your pocket yeah. because with connect hr it's so simple it's on your phone yeah you know my employees don't have to send uh, uh, um, emails to me anymore. Yeah. They can just log in. They can just apply for leave. I can accept. I can reject. I can give a message. Mm. Payroll is further simplified for us because it's all in a click of a button. Click of a button. Thank you. You're not the first person to say that. And people don't believe us. You just click and you, your leave is approved. Your leave is declined. Please, if you haven't signed up, try .connecthr.co.za. <laughs> and because this system is fairly new, but actually it's not that new anymore. We are almost um, one year old. Yes. Um, what are the challenges that you face when developing such a system? I think um, I, I, I'd answer that question by starting with that. In development, mm. developments like construction, yeah, the plan is everything. Mm. Okay, it's something that we call a life cycle, right? It's planning, so it's basically scoping, mm. planning, execution of the of the product, yeah. testing, and so forth. Mm. So, what we found challenging it's the scoping phase, okay, where we need to understand what element goes where. Mm. You know, the case study. Mm. You know, you you sort of have to put yourself in the shoes of a client. Yes. Because remember, you, you're trying to come up with a solution. Mm. So it, it has to make sense first for you. Yeah. Then only then you can execute. I think, I think that process, mm. it's the one that's quite difficult. Mm. Once you've got a plan in place, the development then becomes easy. Mm. The enhancements, you know, things just falling into place. Exactly. Yeah, I think for me, that's the challenging the part. The scoping. But it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, the interactions, the debates. And, and, and the one thing that I'd like to mention is you get to learn a lot. Mm. When, when I started uh, Connect HR, my knowledge on payroll was this much. I but can imagine. It was yeah. limited. I think but both of us, yeah. Exactly. So we, we had to do a lot of research. Mm. We had to go out there, speak to accountants, mm. speak to people that are in the HR space. Exactly. Try to understand what works, what doesn't work, mm. how can we simplify. And I think that process on its own, mm. it, 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 it is quite tough, but it's fun. I love that. I love how you answered that because as you're speaking, I'm thinking, how important is customer feedback to you um, as we know tech? Because we have our clients that come with a lot of requests and feedbacks, re recommendation. How is it important to you? Customer feedback, uh, Bobby, it's everything. Mm. It is that one element that allows you to enhance and further develop the system. Yeah. Remember, without the feedback, you, you, you are, you're not sure. You, mm. you can't just add features mm. not understanding the market. Mm. So you, you, you build on basic, based on what the market gives you. Mm. Uh, so I think, I think that's, it's a great, it's a great uh, yeah. uh, thing to consider. Okay, I love that. And um, because Connect HR, you know, we have grown from the time it started up until now. Um, what market do you think we speak to the most? So for now we are saying SMMEs, right? But what, what, what do you think Connect HR or which market do you think Connect HR, eight, eight, <laughs> Connect HR fits best? Look, I think for me it's, it's not necessarily just the, 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 the SMMEs. Mm. I think we can just say mid-sized businesses. Mm. And why do I say that? If you look at uh, companies that QSEs, mm. I mean, these are small qualifying enterprises, right? Mm. The tool allows those, th th those companies to be able to consolidate their HR. Mm. And I think as we further delve into the growth of the system, mm. we will suddenly realize that because it's solutions driven, yeah. that we'll start attracting the bigger companies mm. as well. Because they'll suddenly realize that, you know, you, you've got obviously a lot of established mm. companies that sort of do the same thing. Mm. But I think those focus on the, the bigger generators. Mm. So I think that the, the, the QSEs mm. will, will, will sort of get attracted to this I hear uh, application. You. I really hear you. And because we have so, our client base is growing, by the way. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> so obviously, you know, there's queries left, right, and center, yeah. right? 
And I want you to give our viewers and our clients, potential clients, understanding that when there's a query that has been raised, how long does it take or how long can they anticipate for a certain query to be addressed in a certain time frame? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, I think what we've, we've found out when we're busy you know, with the development and, and, and the feedback, because mm -hmm. queries are also feedback, and there's True. no such thing as bad feedback, True. right? Is that it, it is called an ETA for a reason. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's always going to be an estimate, mm -hmm. right? However, it is very important to break the, the query into couple of pieces mm. because sometimes it's not a query it's just understanding how yes, the system works exactly. and the one thing that you obviously don't want to do in tech mm. is to over engineer a system mm. so we, we we find that it's much easier for us to say okay Babalo has raised a query mm. i'm unable to do the following mm. should she even be doing that yeah that is the first question mm. right and if the answer is yes then what's then the query let's let's first understand the question let's get on a call with baba Lo. Mm. let's do a simulation mm. and that's why we have testing sites that's why we're able to impersonate a user mm. into the system yes. to understand the problem impersonate oh it's the tech lingo for me <laughs> <laughs> um so um uncle said as you know, affectionately known. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to give also... The favorite uncle in tech. <laughs> <laughs> uncle in tech. <laughs> That's exactly who he is. Um, I want you to maybe give our viewers uh, more detail about um, your business, Procure Active, um, okay. which is, uh, I think, it's a subsidiary, right, yes. of Zeno. Yes. Yeah, just kindly give us a bigger picture of what you do, what it is, and yeah. Okay, so so obviously it's 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 Zinotech. Mm -hmm. Then Procure Active is a product of uh, Zinotech. So yeah, you know when we built Procure Active, mm. we 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 identified a gap in the market mm. from a BEE point of view. Mm. Um, what we saw is that. Procurement is the driver of BE, right? That, that's, that's, that's exactly uh, what it is. <laughs> exactly. So we realized that a lot of companies were not doing that correctly. So the rationalization of procurement was not done uh, accurately. Uh, accurately. Yeah. So you find that it was a last minute thing. True. Get a certificate then there, get and a then, score. Yeah. But, but no one is sort of looking at the booby traps mm. that can appear in that That's process. That's a booby trap. Oh, well, it's a pit hole that you can oh, fall into okay. without seeing <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, 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 so we went out there, we built a system that allowed uh, companies to have insights throughout mm. the year. Mm. What that means is they are able to manage their procurement. So as they do buying, because buying happens any time in the year, yes. right? And you only do your, your, your BEE 12 months later. Correct. We built a system that allows them to upload the list of suppliers mm -hmm. and, and as, as when they get it. Mm -hmm. So the system will kick out a score. It's got a gap analysis. It will show you where your shortfalls are. Mm -hmm. it, will, it, will, it will also give you alternative suppliers mm -hmm. where you've got a supplier that's um, uh, impacting your score negatively. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a great tool. Um, we, we, we've worked with you know big corporates mm -hmm. that have found it easy. Again, mm. solutions driven. Mm. Okay, the system is there to make it easy. You mm. focus on the other important stuff of mm -hmm. the business, like making money. Mm. Then the system handles the administration from a procurement BE point of view. You heard it. That is what Procure Active does. Please, if you haven't signed up, you know where to go. Where do they go? Jump on www.procureactive.co.za we've got a database of over 70,000 suppliers yes. that are vetted. It's free, you go in, you interact with the system if you like it, then you can use the tools, you can run your, your, your scenario planning, it's an amazing tool. Procure Active, solutions driven. Yes, we are charging for this ad. <laughs> we are going Thank to you. charge you. Uh, and um, because the business has grown yes. over time, 
Um, are you currently using Connect HR? Yeah, we're using Connect HR. Of course, uh, you and, have uh, to. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great tool. Yeah. Um, and 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 besides the fact that we built it, I think I think the concept mm. and 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 the and the roots of it mm. speaks to what we need. I mean, as yeah. a small business with a small team, um, you know, we we no one really has the time to sit on a spreadsheet no. and, and check how many leaves are left mm. and so forth. So and because it's so affordable. It, it it fits within our budget, you know. Mm. Um, and I mean, there's, there's other systems out there, but this to us mm. <laughs> works for what we have. Here. Yeah, yes. yeah, true. And you heard him; it's um, very affordable. So currently, we are running a 30 day free trial. Previously, we had done a 90 day, but you have missed out. We're on 30 days now, and it is 99 rand inclusive of VAT. I told you where to go. Please go to try.connecthr.co.za if you want to sign up. And don't remember, I'm your go-to girl, Baba Law at connecthr.co.za for any questions and queries. My next question: What's your favorite feature and why? I love expense manager. Yes. Because it makes it easy mm. uh, for my guys to submit their expenses. Mm. You know, we used to have a backlog of people emailing spreadsheets, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, and receipts. petrol there and receipts. Mm. The consolidation of that was quite tedious for mm. us. So with Connect HR, it's quite so it's seamless. Mm. You know, they just log in, they submit, I check if there's an issue, I can p push it back through the system. Yes. If I approve it, they get, a, 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 I mean, our financials department. Mm -hmm. is able then to line it up for processing for payment so it works it works it works i've been telling you ladies and gents let's hang 10 for a short ad break stay tuned how to apply for leave on connect hr First, you need to log in your Connect HR dashboard. If you don't have an account, sign in for our 30-day free trial. Two, click on the Leave option. Three, on Leave option, select Apply. Four, select your start date and end date of your leave. Five, select Leave type. Six, save and wait for approval. Start your 30-day free trial now. Welcome back. Thank you for hanging in there. We are back with Uncle Sid, our uncle in tech, <laughs> who's going to just take us um, through the system. So take this as like a free demo for you, where we literally going through the system feature by feature, and he's going to take us through how it actually works and what it's intended, what each feature is intended to do. So Uncle Sid. Yes. Um, I'm looking at our beautiful system here that nice you know interface. from the back of your hand. <laughs> nice interface. Seamless, Lovely easy. interface. So um, we've got two interfaces. We've got the user interface, which is employee, and we've got the employer interface, Okay. which, you know, it includes all features. We just want to then understand. Let's go per feature. Let's start with leave. Okay. The application process balances history let's go through that okay i think i think um you know just before i jump into the features uh you you mentioned quite a very important point there where you said you know there's different roles yes so, so what we've done is we've built an interface that allows you to create roles yes. so currently we have the employees role mm. we have administration then we've got human resource yeah. because that's currently what talks to most businesses True. however we take it a step further mm. where one can go in create a role then give you a breakdown of all the the functions that the system has and you can literally tick and yes. select what that particular user role is supposed to 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 access to access on the basically. system yeah yeah so i think that's quite important mm. because i think we toyed uh with the idea of just having um you know uh, stagnant roles but we realized quite quickly that that doesn't work yeah perfect so you you mentioned the leave mm. um I think I think I think leave is actually the driver of the system. This is where we started. It's actually my favorite um, feature, by the way. And 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 I, and I agree with you. Mm. It's actually most of my employees love that mm. because people would have to chase me every day. So we, we applied for leave. Yeah. You you didn't respond to my mm. email. You know. 
But what I like about uh, um, what we have here on Connect HR is it sends you an SMS. Mm-hmm. So this is basically how it works. Mm. A user logs in. Mm-hmm. This is an employee access. They log in. They click on leave. Mm. They've got a calendar mm-hmm. that shows them um, uh, the leave days they've got and so forth. Then they've got an ability to go and say, okay, I'm taking leave. Mm. Select the type of leave. Mm-hmm. Then an SMS and an email mm. is shot straight to the manager, yes. the, the designated manager, mm. obviously. And then that designated manager is able to open the leave. Mm. There's a link. Mm. They can select yes or no. Mm. Upon rejecting, they can type a little message to say, well, we don't have enough people on that day, yes. so you can't take leave. Yes. And I think it's it's, it's fast, mm. you know, because a person then can easily plan to say, well, I can't do this on that day mm. because, you know, um, I can't get the leave, basically. Exactly. And um, so one would ask then how, um, how are balances, leave balances captured on the system? Oh, that is also another easy similar piece. easy piece. <laughs> the one thing I like about the system is we, we've built it in such a way that you don't need a manual mm. for it. Mm. You know, same way no one teaches you how to use like WhatsApp, for example. Yeah. Connect each other is exactly that. Mm. You just go in self-explanatory mm-hmm. so one goes in click on leave again there's an option to look at your your, your leave balances mm-hmm. the history mm-hmm. then the application mm-hmm. and it's all in a drop down and when he says history he means you can see unapproved leave you can see approved leave you can see pending so our system is that detailed and i, I love it for that so let's go to pay slips and tax pay slips payroll how does that system um, work? Because my understanding is that you create the pay slips, ultimately you get um, the payroll once the pay slips have been processed. But let's get into the deeper part of it. How does the pay slip process work on Connect HR? Okay, so let us start it from an administration point of view mm-hmm. because that's basically where it starts, right? Yeah. So, what needs to happen first is there is a couple of options. Mm. And, and while we're building the, the Paisley portion, we actually realize that there's a certain rules that needs to up, up be applied mm. that talks to, to, to the payslip. So we have now created a couple of options okay. you know, on how then that calculation is impacted. Yes. So where you start, you need to select one of those options, mm. how you want the system to treat the leave application. Mm. Once, you've, once you've selected that, you then go into payslip, create payslip, you start adding your people. Mm. Further to that, you still also need to go and select medical aid mm-hmm. because the system needs to know that if there is a medical aid, uh, there should be tax credit. Mm-hmm. So we've incorporated all of that. You know, we our team went out there and got all the research and so forth. True. So once you've done that, then the system is able to create or generate a payslip mm. for your employees. I love that. And let's tell our viewers about the very exciting sub-feature, the tax calculator. How that's, did that come about? That's that's actually one one of my favorites. Same. So so <laughs> so during during the time where we're building the the payslip, mm. when we're testing out uh, calculations, you know, mm. you'd go online to see if your calculations are accurate. True. There's quite a lot of tools out there, you know, that would allow you to just drop um, a number. A number, and yeah. Then it should, basically tell you mm. but we realized that look a lot of them didn't necessarily show you the breakdown mm. so we decided to go and create a tool that allows you to drop numbers mm. and then you can also define if you have medical aid if you've got retirement annuity mm. you hit go it calculates it on the spot but on the side it actually shows you how that calculate the, uh, the calculation works 100 percent. so unconnect hr ladies and gents if you didn't know let's say you're about to start a new job and you'd want to know how much your net pay will more or less look like our tax calculator can tell you that you just input your gross and the calculation will just show and boom there is your net pay and let's get into your favorite um, feature expense manager 
Yeah, that's actually that's actually my favorite feature because f- I think for me as a businessman, mm-hmm. um, it, it it saves me a lot of time mm-hmm. uh, because I like I said I don't have to run around with spreadsheets. Yeah, you know, trying to consolidate, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, expenses and so forth. So how that came about is that look, we we needed to 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 bridge a gap. Mm. where we simplified that whole process mm. of um, submitting expenses, mm. you know, between the employer, employee, then obviously the, 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 um, the, the payroll, mm. not payroll, the, the, the financial. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so how, that, how that application works is one goes in, yeah. they, they, they select the type of expense mm-hmm. that they are putting in. Mm-hmm. So it can be a recurring uh, it, all, it all depends. Mm. Then you can then put in the amount yeah. that you're submitting for, right? Then it allows you to upload, you know, like your receipt. Mm. Or of course, you know, let's be honest. Mm. You know, anyone can go in and say, "Well, I've used petrol here and there," but at the end of the day, we all need proof. So True. the system allows you to do all of that, but it just doesn't process it. Mm-hmm. It waits for an approval from the designated administrator. Mm-hmm. So it, I think it's a great tool mm. because from there on, whoever then processes the payment, they basically get a list of all the expenses. Exactly. And it's an easier transaction from there. Mm. And what people don't know is that on the system, you can set up a pay run that is specific to your organization. So how a pay run would work was that um, for example, our biggest client is Skills Panda. What they do is that they process payments every Friday. But the rule is employees need to submit um, invoices no later than 12 o'clock on Thursday. That's a pay run. So our system is our system accommodates those kind of scenarios where you want to implement those kind of rules for your employees. To, to you know just to take your your, your finances um, seriously and to create order basically so I love that and um, I think before we get into like our new features I think let's give our people some ease people feel like uh, who controls this how do I know that my employees don't see the payroll Let's address those issues. The users, you mentioned that we have um, employees, administrators. Who ultimately runs the, the system? Okay. Well, let, let, let's, let's, let's take it, let's see it this way. So um, somebody has to be God. So <laughs> <laughs> the first user of the system by yeah. default becomes the, the, the administrator. Yeah. The administrator is the super user. Mm. This is the person that is able to add other users Mm -hmm. and then designate Mm -hmm. and says, okay, this is an employee, Mm -hmm. this is human resource, well, this is another administrator Mm -hmm. that sort of has the same level of permissions as myself. So we have built the system with the security is high tech. Mm. Everything is encrypted. Mm. So ID numbers, bank details, all of that stuff is encrypted. So in a in a in a situation where there's a cyber attack, mm. all of that stuff becomes obsolete. Yeah. So no one can get to it. Okay. Um, so from an administration point of view, even the administrator themselves, they cannot see your password. Mm. So let us say, for example, um, you no longer work for the organization. Mm. The administrator has an option to activate and to deactivate and activate your account. Mm. The only thing they've got access to is obviously the documentation, yes. you know, but stuff like your ID number, all of that just, you know, gets encrypted. Encryption is what it is. <laughs> so, um, ladies and gents, it's very easy to use the system. It's not complicated. The process itself is not complicated. Users are always protected. We, we really, really value confidentiality. We really value um, just puppy, you know. People's information is not just flying all over the place. This system is encrypted. Well structured, yeah. Well structured. So um, I really love that. And we've got a new f- new features that I'd like us to go um, into. So we've got leave reports and employee demographics. Please give us some insight on how that came about. 
Look, uh, I think uh, when we took out the, um, or when we roll out, rolled out the, 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 the leave feature, yeah. It was an exciting feature. Yeah. You know, guys could, could, I mean, for the, employee, the employers, <coughs> yeah. it was easy, you know, to approve and so forth. But there's just one element that was missing, which is the reporting. Mm. Where do I have a consolidated view where I'm yes. able to, to pull out reports and say, okay, in my organization, I want to see how many people have taken sick leave, mm. how many. So it, 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 it became then that question that how do we do that? Mm. And like I said in the beginning, all the enhan enhancement of the system comes from the users themselves. Mm -hmm. So then we went out and said, okay, we will build a dedicated leave report mm -hmm. portal where at a click of a button, you are able to see all those insights. Love it. And employee demographics I'm looking at, by the way, it's um, aesthetically pleasing. You did well here. <laughs> well, you know I'm biased. Then it comes to Connect HR. So, um, employee demographics, it, it's looking good. Um, let's um, deep, sorry, dive deeper <laughs> into why employee demographics are important for employers. Yeah, I think, I think that one, it's um, the owner's favorite feature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember when we were doing it, you know, he, he kept on asking me about it because mm -hmm. we had a couple of features running at mm -hmm. the time, but he kept on saying, when am I getting this one? I think it, 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 it's important, Bobby, and mm -hmm. it, it's self-explanatory, to be mm -hmm. honest. I think at a glance, one needs to sort of be able to pull out by demographics. And if you look at BE, I think exactly. from... Exactly. Yeah. In, I think if you look at from skills and so forth, it's mm. quite important to pull out such reports to mm. say, okay, because you get scored yes. by demographics. Exactly. So I think, I think the idea there was sort of aligning, you know, with those regulations. Mm. Yeah. I love that. And, you know, for people who have asked me to say, how do you make it easier for me to um, submit employment equity reports in the beginning of the year. Um, this is why we have this feature. You just pull out a report in the beginning of the year. It gives you insights such as how many African, colored, Indian, you know, how many of those um, demographics you have in the organization and the number of employees. So all you just do is just export and done. You just input into your report. So this is um, a very, very, very exciting feature that we've deployed recently. Um, what do we have to look forward to in terms of the system? I think that should really be a surprise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's quite a lot of uh, features and yeah. enhancements that are currently in the pipeline. Mm. Um, and, and maybe wh what I can say without, you know, exposing a lot is yes. that people should really look forward into the stuff that's coming up because mm. we, we're mainly focusing on um, simplifying mm. and enhancing some mm. of the existing features. Mm. We do have one or two features that obviously do not exist in the system mm. and, 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 and I think it's quite important to mention that all of those features were brought about the research mm. that we you know going to the public and asking them what do you think of this mm. and i think now that we've got affiliates mm. they are also playing uh, a, 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 an integral role into saying guys have you thought of that have you mm. thought of that i think like i said building a system a system is not built by one person it's built by the community True. and and that's where we're going with this love this love this and we didn't touch on the on document control, one of our main features. So document control, just to give insight, is basically where it's a hub where you store employee um, um, sorry documents. But I want you to go in a little bit deeper as to why this um, feature is available. I think it's it's important to understand that we we're talking about HR, mm. and HR is document driven. So uh, these repositories are, are quite important mm. because it it then simplifies things. Because remember, you've got the document storage, right? Mm -hmm. So in every element of the system, mm. there is a a, a backing of a document yeah. of some sort. So when you already have uploaded in a repository, because we've already interlinked mm. it to a feature, it then becomes easy to click and then the document comes up. Comes up. Yeah, so you don't really have to go and say, oh yeah, actually, let me pull out a file. 
Mm. Now it does make sense. <laughs> now everything sits there. Yeah. And, 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 and that's why it's important to, that we had to focus on security. Mm. Because even with that, we do have some confidential uh, documents, as, as, as you know. Mm. So um, I, think, I think a document feed, yeah, the document feature is very, very important. Important. Yeah. And okay, let's loosen up a bit. We've spoken about the system. I'm sure every day, system, 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 <laughs> because it's what you, you do. It's choking me. <laughs> it's, and Fabi, Fabi, Fabi. Um, what advice do you have to our viewers? This is just standard procedure that we do. Um, what is the advice or what keeps you going that can help the next person? So our viewers are mostly unemployed youth. So we always want to leave a mark, with, leave them with something to think about. I think, I think uh, f for me is, you know, um, we have to keep evolving. Mm. Te technology is, is the future. Mm. And in these times, you know, there's so many opportunities. Mm. You know, with social media, with, with the internet readily available for everyone, I think I think one needs to find their niche, mm. one needs to find a gap. Mm. So just do something. Just just keep on moving. I, I think I think evol evolution is everything. Mm. Yeah, I think at, and, and, and that's our motto with, with the systems that we build. Mm. We, we we will always keep refining them. We will always try and find what's out there. Yeah. Are we are we are we leading? Are we missing something? Mm. So I think my advice to especially the youth out there is that don't relax. Mm. Yeah, don't, 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 don't get to a comfort zone. Mm. That, that doesn't exist. Mm. Thank you. Ladies and gents, that was Sidwell Bombe, the owner and founder of Zwinotech and Procure Active. Where do people find you on social media? Ah, so on social media, you can, uh, my handle, Sidwell Bombe on Twitter. You can also find me on uh, Facebook under the same name. Uh, but yeah, do visit www.procureactive.co.za and you won't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, thank you so much for tuning in. That was just an insight of what we do at Connect HR. Please stay tuned, stay blessed. See you next time. It's your favorite host, Fabi Mawela. See you next time.